are back in Cayman Island. Let's go check out this Airbnb that we got for the weekend. Hey Wanderers, I already posted a video in regards to the Airbnb highlight. So if you want to check it out and get more details in regards to this Airbnb that we rented for the weekend, go ahead and click that link at the top right corner to get all the info that you need for that stay. It is one of my top Airbnb finds, so make sure you check it out. Let's wonder. While waiting for our car to arrive to the Airbnb, we took a walk to the local grocery store because we were hungry. Because Cayman Island is a British territory, the value of a US dollar doesn't go as far in Cayman Island. <laughs> I want to sit here and order everything. Like, we got hands, we got hands. We got to walk back. Cindy. You gotta say hi to everybody. Hi to, Hi to everybody. Hi to everybody. We in Saint we in Cayman Island here. It's hot, but we are, we are going to the to the beach mm -hmm. soon. Soon. Later. <laughs> nice. She out here bringing along stranglers to show her us where him where the Airbnb at. What? He he ain't want to let him go. I didn't stop talking. That was you running your mouth. And I was. He came to ask me stuff because of you. This is dinner, you guys. This is dinner. <laughs> we only have Oreo, cereal, Doritos, some combos, Chico stick, Reese's, plenty of chips. <laughs> These weren't a part of the grocery. Jack Daniels. <laughs> All this was $100. All this was $100. And fries. Oh, and the fries and two bottles of water for $100. This is our car for the weekend. Before we got to Rum Point, we tried some local dishes and it was delicious. We officially made it to Rum Point. It's about 30 to 40 minutes from our Airbnb. It's, it's hot as hell. But we're looking cute. Mm, big booty Judy over there. Hi, guys. <laughs> So we're gonna see what Rum Point has to offer today. Let's check it out. I'm trying to be Dora the Explorer, but this one. Oh my god, the my water, foot, my, my foot. foot. Yeah. Mm. No, she got, look at, y'all gotta see what's in the water before she <laughs> There's nothing in the water, it's seagrass. No, it's, oh my god. Gotta it's, the Titanic yet. Bro. Uh, what the Titanic got to do with anything? Yeah, you see a bunch of Probably pieces over here. Let me know. Bruh. Oh. She don't see this rope. This is, this is infested, okay? Okay, but that's just like the rope. You standing on the seaweed, right? The seagrass right now. It's not now. biting me right now. It's cool right Okay, here. so let's move forward. Eventually, somebody warmed up and got comfortable in the water. So if you're looking for a nice chill spot that is similar to a sandbar, check out Rum Point. It is the best place to be, especially to watch a sunset. The cars are coming on. <laughs> we don't know how to start it. I mean, we do, but it's not starting. It's broken. <laughs> the car the is broken. Red. It's hot out here. We got <laughs> we got dressed for no reason, man. All right, they came. Two seconds, fix the car. Back at it again. Well, you're gonna see. <laughs> turn the wheel. They turn the wheel, bro. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, first thing first, just the FYI, you do drive on the opposite side in Cayman Island, and I'm not sure why it seems to be a thing about their cars being in a different language, but we eventually connected and got our day started. When I speak Japanese, say 12 12. Did that already. You don't know how to work it? <laughs> 
and I don't work it. <laughs> don't embarrass me like that. Ray, she doesn't know how to work it. Yeah. Don't embarrass me like that. You know the phone, baby. You know you the phone. My dog didn't know how to pump the gas. I did know how to pump the gas. He, his thing go up, down, left, right. Like who Up, down, about? left. Who got time for all this? Uh, guys, I'm not a pump. They just too difficult out here. Uh, my dog checked me. Hey, turn turn off your phone. No phone. <laughs> Can't record. Can't record. record in the gas station. <laughs> okay. We're done with our car chronicles. We're, we're, we're with all the chaos that was going on in the morning, we forgot to grab something to eat. So we stopped at Coconut Joe's to have a light lunch before our day got started. Coconut Joe's is located right across the street from the Marriott that we previously stayed at. We only had some chicken wings and fries and some bacon. While we were there, we decided to stop by the Marriott to check it out and get in the beach. You know we VIP over here, so we just made our way right back to the Marriott to get in their pool and their beach. So we were here at the Marriott back in September 2022. And there was somewhat of a shoreline, but now there's little to no shoreline. As you can see, it's nothing to step on. So if you're looking for a shoreline, the Marriott is not it. But the water is still beautiful. We made it in the water, in the ocean. But now we have to go. <laughs> it was short lived. Our excursion is at 4. And if we leave now, we'll get there at 3.22. It takes us about like 20 minutes to walk to the car because we slow. Somebody big. <laughs> I know it's right a corner. No, we can come back today after the cave. The sun don't set till it's only an hour. We we'll come back. Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> It took us roughly 30 to 35 minutes to go to the opposite side of town to come to Cayman Crystal Cave. Cayman Crystal Cave is one of Cayman's Island's most popular hotspot excursion. It is a guided tour and is about an hour long and it cost us $85 for two adults. After purchasing your ticket, you huddle up underneath the gazebo and they tell you a little bit of history about the company. Today they were seven first settling families to our little community. Grab a seat on the bus that is provided for you and start your adventure with your tour guide. Dress light because it is extremely hot and make sure you add on an additional sunscreen and bug spray. It's probably not patched down there. You guys will be fine. No, just go with this. Where are we going? We came with the bus. <laughs> Alright guys, so welcome to our first cave. This cave is called Open Ceiling Cave. It's pretty obvious on why it's called that. That's the end of <laughs> Right over here, we have a friend with us, guys. A bat. It's a fruit bat, guys. So it's no harm to us. I say that, but I don't believe my own words. Oh, I'm super tall. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Whoa, I gotta crawl. So if you're above five eight, you gotta crawl. Alright, watch your head. 
when you're coming out through there. Let me know when it's safe. All right, just a little bit more. Uh, all right, we're going to sign All right, you guys are going to come right wow. through here. What did I do with that? Green color, no matter how light or dark the shade of green is, continue to follow it. Oh. <laughs> Somebody enjoying this. <laughs> Kids used to play down in here, and uh, my father played down in here. He moved further down the street out uh, when he. Uh, our parents had us, so we were, their parents knew exactly where they had been playing, that all of the orange dirt falling in and out. They looked like Cheeto Puffs when they went home. <laughs> so we couldn't do that to any of our guests, so we opened up that entrance, we dug all of this go down, and everything in here was dug out by hand, and all of the rocks that they needed to remove was chiseled away and broken away by hand. Our next adventure, we booked with Red Sail Water Sports and we went to Stingray City and did some snorkeling. It cost us about 130 US dollars per person. And Stingray City was born. So the kind of stingrays you're going to be playing with today, okay, look a little bit like this one. These are the Southern Atlantic Stingray, Dasiatus americana. Stingrays in general are the closest living relative to the shark. So if you guys have never felt a shark before, this might be your opportunity. Top of the red. It's going to feel like a sandpaper texture and then the underside is going to feel like a soft wet portobello mushroom is the best way to describe it. On the underside of the ray they have their mouth, their gills and their nostrils, very delicate areas of the stingray. So when you pet the ray you want to stick to the wing areas, you don't want to accidentally poke her in the gills. On the top of the ray they have two eyes and then right behind the eyes have these two holes. These holes are very important, they're called spiracles. This is how the stingray takes oxygen out of the water. So when you're holding the stingray, we've got to help her out, okay? You've got to keep her eyes and these holes beneath the water at all times. You'll know if you're holding the stingray correctly because she will lay flat as a pancake for you. If she starts to move or try and get away from you, it's probably because she can't breathe, okay? She's trying to get back under water, so you've got to help her out. They do have sharp serrations that run down the spine. There's no venom on those serrations, but they can be quite sharp and you might snag yourself. So once again, stick to the wings. The barb or the stinger, this is about a third of the way down the tail, okay? Not at the end of the tail. It can be about six to seven inches long on this particular species, and they have a protein-based venom that they use purely for self-defense. We're gonna be giving them cuddles and kisses, so they should have nothing to fear from us today whatsoever. We're gonna be dealing with females for the most part. Females are the bigger of the species. Maximum recorded size for a Southern Atlantic female is around six feet in disc width. Males' maximum size is around a foot to a foot and a half. It is a female dominated society, much like our own. Uh, girls are in charge out there. Um, and then it is a legal requirement that we are all bare feet. We're not allowed fins or water shoes or gloves at the sandbar. And then shuffle your feet as you walk around. Oh, I'm good. 
a big smile over there. Yeah. I'm recording y'all. Yeah. Oh, we're still not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> nice big smile. Perfect. No, we're going to give her a double kiss. Stay right where you are. Will your kiss for a second? All right. Here you go. One. Two. You already? Yeah. Okay, go for it, ladies. A big kiss. Kiss her. And then look at the camera as well. Perfect. Well done, guys. Got it? Grab a fin and put your snorkel gear back on. We're on our next stop to Coral Reef. If you are an expert swimmer, no need to grab a life vest. Just simply jump off the side of the boat safely. If you are not comfortable swimming in deep water, go ahead and grab a life vest and walk down the steps. So while we were snorkeling and having a great time, a little mishap happened. I thought I'd tighten up the string for my GoPro and ultimately it sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Luckily and thankfully, GoPro is water resistant. And let me tell you when I say that it felt like it was down there for hours, but it was only down there for about nine minutes until somebody came and rescued it. So if you decide to snorkel in deep water, make sure your wristband is tight and tight so that you won't have this happen to you. I'm pretty here though, just to speed us up a little bit. Just to keep on schedule. Say hello, Captain. How are you doing? Hello. Hello, mate. Oh, am I, did I get it wrong? No, you got it right. Uh, hello, mate. From England. <laughs> You're not from England? I'm from England. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought I was wrong for a minute the way you said it. No, no. <laughs> well, English, Aussies, and uh, Kiwis, they all say mate. Oh. Thank you to the crew. <laughs> Our last stop for today was at Turtle Cayman Center, and the reason why we came here was specifically to swim with the turtles. Coming into this place, I didn't know how big Cayman Turtle Center was. If you plan on visiting here, I would say make this an all-day thing. But because we just came from swimming with the stingrays and snorkeling, we just quickly wanted to swim with the turtles and get out of there. We paid roughly $45 per person to do the Turtle Lagoon experience. As stated before, come early, do the nature walk, go on the water slide, swim with the turtles, because Turtle Cayman Center has so much things to offer. Anywho, let's grab a gear and let's swim with the turtles. Disgusting. Wear your swimming shoes because the algae is super thick and the floor is very slippery and it feels so disgusting under your foot. So wear your water shoes. And ladies, technically everyone, make sure that you wash your hair after you finish this excursion. Thank you so much for wondering with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Until next time, enjoy the turtles.